What is the most OP build for Hubert in Fire Emblem Three Hopes? We have a new record holder! Hubert has claimed the number one spot as the most powerful build I've ever built. There are more characters to come, but it's gonna be really hard to beat this one. I present Hubert as Infinite Darkness. The class of choice for today's build is Dark Bishop. There is no class in this game that is quite as fitting as Dark Bishop for Hubert. One could argue Dark Knight, but it will fail in comparison to this build, I promise you that. Our weapon of choice is what leads us to our first reason for choosing Dark Bishop. It's a Tunger's Mystery. The only thing we need from this tome is Relentless Magic, which reduces our magic cooldowns by 50%. The alternative is a tome with boost combat art slash magic and boost critical three, but it will result in a weaker version of this build. If you did decide to go that route, however, this opens up the viability for Dark Knight. It's really the book that puts Dark Bishop above the other options. Since Hubert doesn't use a crest, we need to give him one to wield Satunger's mystery. However, we don't care about Agnia's arrow, so we could choose any crest that we want. I chose Craft Dragon Sign to give us a 10% chance to slightly increase the damage of our offensive magic. Our battalion is going to be Resist Gauntlets, but honestly the choice is yours here, this isn't a requirement. Now our combat spells are Hades and Dark Spike. Hades is the highest damaging dark spell in the entire game, and Dark Spike could hit even harder against cavalry units. But even if you're using it on other units, the damage is pretty incredible. Hades isn't a spell that Hubert has access to, so I recommend teaching him the spell with Monica. Monica has an A support with Hubert, making it a breeze to learn. I believe it only took me like 5 or 10 minutes. Our first unique ability is called Dark Conjuration. This ability has a high chance of impaling enemies with a dark magic spike. The more you attack, the more charged the spike becomes. Activate the ability to detonate the spike and inflict dark damage based on its power level. This ability doesn't hit very hard. However, it's very important anyway since it allows us to infinitely juggle enemies with our dark spells. I'll explain how it works later, but just know that this ability is very important for the build. And Perception keeps the stun gauge visible much longer, which to be honest, we won't have any opportunities to take advantage of since everything just melts. Officer's duty reduces damage received by 50% when ordered to guard. Now Dark Bishop comes with four class abilities. Miasma, more or less, gives us the spell if we don't already have it, and if we do, it's a higher powered version of the spell, ultimately weaker than our other options. Dark Magic Mastery reduces our Dark Magic spell cooldowns even further, which allows us for 3 or 4 second cooldown times. Impair extends the duration of our status effects inflicted on the enemy. I believe this applies to our Dark Spikes as well, but it's really hard to tell. Regardless, it works on our Darkness effect. Cavalry Buster gives us a 95% damage boost against Cavalry units. As for our abilities, as usual, I'll show you where I got them at the end of the video. Reason gives us a 30% damage bonus while wielding a Tome. Wild Abandoned greatly increases our damage done while greatly increasing our damage received. Offensive Tactics gives us a 20% damage boost as long as our battalion is still active. Essence of Darkness transforms our Dark Spells into much more powerful versions. This is is a very important ability for this build. Big Game Hunter boosts our damage against all commanders, which is another ability that's very nice to have. Range Master gives us some more range, which is always welcome. Absorb Magic. <laughs> Holy crap, I can't believe they gave Hubert Absorb Magic. This is probably one of the biggest reasons he's so strong. Absorb Magic gives us a magic stat boost every time we defeat a commander, and the buffs are permanent for the entire battle. This gives him bonkers levels of magic. Aggression increases the warrior gauge fill rate whenever we attack an enemy that has a status effect applied, which we will pretty much have on enemies at all times. Bowbreaker gives us a 50% damage boost against bows and Dexterity Catalyst increases our warrior gauge fill rate proportionate to our dex stat. This time around, we only have two stats we need to focus on, magic and dex. Our cooldowns are so good that speed isn't as important. With that being said though, it certainly won't hurt the build. Start with 80 or so levels of Dark Bishop and stop around the time you get to 100 magic. Then the rest of your levels on Trickster. Although speed isn't as important, it still does boost the length of our awakening gauge. This build is all about the juggle. 
You start with either a Dark Spikes if it's a cavalry unit or Hades for all other units. Then activate your unique Dark Conjuration to keep enemies in the air a bit longer. Follow that up with the spell you haven't used yet and then activate Dark Conjuration again. The little bit of time that Conjuration buys you gives you enough time to rotate your spells infinitely, causing you to be able to keep enemies trapped in what I like to call infinite darkness. This is how Hubert gets his name. Your damage is going to be really high and at any time you could throw in a warrior special for some seriously insane damage. I like to use my warrior specials on the boss enemies of the map to make short work of them. Feel free to awaken if you want, but ultimately keep your eye on the juggle. This is the only build I've made that has the ability to keep an enemy into a juggle for as long as you don't mess up the timing. This turns Hubert into the strongest unit I've built so far. Now for where I got each ability. Reason is from Mage, Warlock, and Dark Bishop. Wild Abandon from Brigand. Offensive Tactics from Wyvern Rider. Essence of Darkness from Dark Mage. Big Game Hunter from Mortal Savan. Range Master from Dark Knight. Absorb Magic from Dark Bishop. Aggression from Warlock, Bow Breaker from Dark Bishop, Dexterity Catalyst from Bow Knight, Dark Spikes from Dark Bishop, and Hades is learned from Monica. If you like today's build, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more builds.